What is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your thrill, of course, the Scarender. And today, we're going up against a guy named Mo in a Wi Fi OU battle. And looking to my opponent's team here, I knew I was in trouble because we got a Mega Metagross on the field here. Uh, now, we got Scissor, of course, Clefable, Latios, Keldeo, uh, Mega Metagross, and Hippowdon. And yeah, I really felt worried. I myself was using Raikou, Scissor, Hoopa, Unbound. Godchomp and Tornadoes and Galio myself. Now here's the thing, as long as he got um, his uh, Kelio activated or in good health, I can't really utilize my Hoopa. Outside of that, my Hoopa should do really well. And Mega Metagross is really, really tough to deal with, with of course that in mind, because let's face it, it can take a few dark hits. So I really, really didn't feel um, too well going into this game. Now, I will start with Raikou thinking that Hippowdon is probably his obvious lead and probably want to set up his uh, Stealth Rock Rod early, so I've taken that opportunity to hit with a possible Specs Hidden Power Ice. That was really all I had in mind because I needed to dent the things that could possibly take hits from Hoopa, and then hopefully, as the time goes on, we wrap up the game with, of course, Hoopa because Hoopa can destroy this team um, if he gets the opportunity to pull that off. And of course, Sister is extremely helpful in this game too. Um, you just need to get rid of the mods that can't resist it, such as <clears throat> Keldeo. So Keldeo is obviously a big deal for me in this game, and I really need to make sure to make, make sure that Keldeo takes damage or I'm screwed. So anyway, with all this, my guys, let's go. So alright, from the get-go I do get the optimal start. Like I said there, I felt Hippowdon was his obvious lead here. So Raikou is doing well here, there is really nothing I have to worry about. If, of course, it doesn't call my bluff and, of course, go for an Earthquake instead. Now, Earthquake will not destroy me, but at the same time, that would be unnecessary damage, but, you know, I'll take that risk. Like I said, Hidden Power Ice should do a good amount of denting on it, and as you see, that's a 50% HP, and he goes for Rock. So, I predicted right, and I felt, oh, thank God. <laughs> so, anyway, Leftovers will take him up a bit, but it won't save him for another one. Now, here's the thing. I could have predicted it would switch out. It felt like Scissor is a very, very obvious um, Pokemon to switch in, honestly, because of the Hit of Power Ice. Uh, I didn't do that call though, and I felt, alright, shit. You know, I screwed obviously that up, but uh, at least a few switches for Scissor, and I really didn't think this was a Mega, obviously, because it had Mega Gors. So I'm gonna switch in, like, Sack Sucks being, of course, my defensive Garchomp, and um, not gonna lie, I thought I would take this U turn much better. I do not. That's a banded U-turn, people. And damn, does that hurt. It's not even funny how much damage that does. And really here, there's nothing really my Garchomp can do. Now, he'll switch out to Windows XP. And I was thinking that I might be faster than him as long as it doesn't Mega Volt. Um, here's the thing. Metagross, not so fast when he's in the Volt, but I have no investment, of course in my speed and he actually outspeeds so that was unfortunate at the same time I went for stealth rocks and not earthquake so in the grand scheme of things that might actually not matter rough skin and rocky helmet will at least do a decent amount of damage on the metagross but I lose my guard jump really early and that's unfortunate so anyway I'm gonna go to tornadoes because tornadoes does threaten out both metagross and of course the possible scissor <sighs> sorry had to jump for some reason. Never mind. So anyway, he's gonna switch out. Of course, gonna go into the E harmony, being of course a freaking Clefable. And damn it, I mean there is just not much I can do against this mon, of course. And I just, in all honesty, felt kind of threatened here. Now he'll show leftovers. That's okay. Um, nothing really have to worry about that. Long as you, uh, or uh, at least it isn't <laughs> cute, or at least it isn't life orb or something like that. So. I don't really need to worry about the necessary damage from this mod, but at the same time, I really need to get my denting going. And I can't bring Scissor in because Scissor, in all in all, won't take a possible flamethrower, which I felt was kind of obvious from the switch in. And like I said, I really didn't want to risk that. And he tries to predict that, so I, I am at least in the right state of mind. But at the same time, god damn it, I mean, I get burned here of all the things I can get. So that really, really, really sucks, because I don't necessarily want that extra little damage on my Raikou. Now, I'll go for the safe move, just go straight up for the Thunderbolt. I need the damage, I'm Specs after all, and he'll show Calm Mind. And I was like, ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit, you're gonna be that guy. You're gonna be that guy, alright, alright, we should uh, 
I should call myself. At least, even with left doors, I am still in the area of taking him out. So I have two options. Option number one, stay in, try to take him out. Option number two, see the switch out and go that he switches to a powder on. I think he'll switch into a powder on. He does not. He stays in, goes for Moonblast, possibly sacking the Fable. I don't agree with this play, but at the same time, God freaking damn it! I lose Kelio. I lose Kelio, and I was like, oh no, 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 we, damn, I lost the game. Because Kelio was so goddamn important. <laughs> it outspeeded the monster that mattered, he killed dealt with, of course, his own sister. So that really, really, really sucked. And, uh, I gotta go to Plexus, and I need to do the obvious play here. I need to go for a bullet punch. Even if it stays in, I need to do it. I have no other means here of dealing with this man. Luckily, I do take him out, but at the same time, the cost was just absurd. So of course, it was very obvious that I should have played this thing differently. Now, here come Max Ma Basmus. Okay, I can't say that. But anyway, his Keldio. And like I said here, I really don't have any switches for my own Keldio now. Um or for his Keldio. I had a switch to course be my own Keldio. That is no longer an option. He'll go for Ice Wind, that's okay. But with the speed, or actually, I, I die with a bird anyway. But uh, yeah, had it gone for a Scold and like that, that would definitely have killed me. So Raik was definitely a sack switch in there because I really had no other options. So I'm gonna go to Tornadoes, trying to force him out with a Hurricane. And that's the thing, I am shooting in the dark with Hurricane because there is no no guarantee that I'll actually land this and they're gonna go to Windows XP of course, being of course his Metagross again and I really just started to think how am I even going to try to hurt this team luckily Hurricane just a lot and it looks like another Hurricane would be just about enough but I do decide to go for a Heatwave instead just thinking that maybe maybe things are working out for us but no he's gonna go to Skyrocket and then of course being the Latias Os, Latios Ladias. I'm, I'm still doing this. It's a Ladias, right? Uh, anyway, so of course, Heat is not doing anything, and I was thinking, okay, Leftovers, probably defensive. I have a golden opportunity here to bring my scissor in, hoping it doesn't have hidden power, um, hit of our fire. We do score a crit here, which is extremely unfortunate for our side, of course. And uh, like I said, there, uh, very obvious here that my best switch in must be Plexus, it must be Scissor. I must set up with Scissor. That was really all that went through my head. Now he'll go for a side shock, of course that's gonna do just about nope. And I was fearing maybe, just maybe, just a pack healing wish. Maybe I should go for a bullet punch, avoiding that situation. Maybe I should done that. I do not. I let him healing wish, which means that he's gonna bring Metagross again, of course, and him back in full health. And that could be dangerous for us. That could be really dangerous because I only have one opening now. I really need to dent that Keldeo. If I can't dent the Keldeo, then my Hoopa U can't do anything. And with, of course, this monster now in full health, there is not necessarily a thing that Hoopa can do either. But in a way, I do decide that, like I said, to set up for Sword Stance, I'm still somewhat defensive. And I will go for a Roost here because I want to scout the possible damage that my opponent can do. And um, I guess I should say that luckily for us here, he doesn't really have a move that he can do super effectively. I don't know where I was going for, but seeing the damage there made me realize that, alright, we are in a sweet spot here. We are in a sweet spot, and Bug Bus is so goddamn close of killing him. Now, he will miss the medium mash. Doesn't necessarily matter, um, mostly because he's still resisted. So, we'll go for a second meter mash, and as you guys will see, that is not really a lot of damage. It doesn't get, of course, the boost either, which means that he still is in that threatening part. So I do decide to go for another roost here, and he's gonna go for Earthquake, showing us at least have something to hit us super or naturally with, but it doesn't do that much damage. It really doesn't do that much damage. And we're gonna roost up again, and now we are in a pretty darn comfortable space. So I'll go for Bullet Punch, basically forcing to do as much damage as possible. I needed to do that. I really, really do. And now we're at plus six. And I was thinking, right, Keldio is the only thing that can take this thing on. And he will survive a bullet punch, but hopefully I don't die by the skull. That was all that went through my head. And here comes the skull. I was like, come on, come on, come on. I need his win. I need his win. 
and I do survive, and no burn. How about that? And Bullet Punch is gonna be just about enough here to finish that off. And we are now in the clear, people. We are now in the clear. He has nothing, and I repeat, nothing that can take this guy on. There is no way. We are naturally faster than a regular scissor. And last Pokemon he's gonna pack is the power on, then that's not gonna speed either. So we actually make a comeback. Of after that tough judgment call with my own Keldor against the Clefable, we take the game back. Alright, some afterthoughts. You know, for being so I'm 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 not bad in OU, but you know, I'm definitely not the best at it. But I actually did kind of fear here. I mean losing Raikou the way I did was actually kind of bad thinking about it because obviously that made Mega Metagross that much more dangerous and I had no one that really could outspeed it outside of my scarf to Hoopa but it worked out anyway and I think most of it was due to my opponent actually bringing Larios the way he did making sure that I actually could set up with my sister because that was not a guarantee there was not no way or no chance in hell that I would actually be able to pull that off Luckily that come to fruition, luckily we have that situation where I can't come back, but like I said, I really wasn't sure I could pull that off, and it didn't really help when I knew that my opponent had Keldeo left in full health, and was a possible Pokemon I could take to bullet punch it from an even tree, even once was just behind me. So, I was luck one, you know, obviously I get out of this one, um, kind of kind of healthy, and which is very surprising, since I do think that had it not done that, he probably would have won this game, whatever that would actually, because like I said, Sister was probably the only one that definitely could destroy him, and he, I think he gave me that opportunity instead of me working for it. So, uh, anyway, Mo, thank you so much for this battle, I thought it was great, and uh, I'm glad this team that I'm using still works, it's kind of an old OU team, but it's one of the few I got, and uh, Mega Metagross is definitely a mod to be reckoned with, if you can't, Fend it off properly, it's gonna destroy you, and I felt that more than once this battle. Uh, so anyway, thank you, so, of course, as always, guys, for watching. Make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky's limit, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.